गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टू डेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रिस्क वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली द आर बी आई दैट इज रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इज इंक्रीज रिस्क वेट ऑन बैंक एक्सपोजर टू चेक ऑन अनसिक्योर्ड लोन्स लाइक पर्सनल लोन्स क्रेडिट कार्ड रिसीवेबल्स एटसेट्रा नो लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट आर रिस्क वेट्स Risk weights are numerical values assigned to various assets in a bank's portfolio indicating the perceived risk associated with each asset. This assignment is crucial to ensure that banks maintain adequate capital reserves sufficient to cover potential losses arising from these assets. Banks are obligated to uphold a minimum capital adequacy ratio calculated as the ratio of a bank's capital to its risk weighted assets. Assets with higher perceived risk necessitate a greater amount of capital to be reserved ensuring that banks possess ample buffers to absorb potential losses. Now let's discuss about factors influencing changes in risk weights. Evolving risk. The RBI consistently assesses the risk landscape. If certain sectors or loans are perceived as riskier due to economic market or regulatory factors, the RBI may adjust risk weights to reflect the heightened risk accurately. Preventive measures during periods of economic stress or challenges in specific sectors, the RBI may opt to increase risk weights as a preventive measure. This proactive adjustment aims to strengthen banks against potential losses, fostering stability within the financial system. Now lastly moving on to implications of increased risk weights. Higher risk weights require banks to allocate more capital potentially limiting lending and expansion. To meet regulatory requirements banks may need additional capital affecting lending practices and loan availability and banks may also reassess and divest from riskier assets altering their overall risk profile. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the risk weights. One risk weights are numerical values assigned to various assets in the bank's portfolio indicating the perceived risk associated with each asset. Two banks are obligated to uphold a minimum capital adequacy ratio calculated as the ratio of a bank's capital to its risk weighted assets. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only to only both one and two or neither one nor two. send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching